It's a storm. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Oh, this is Sharknado. Is this Sharknado? It's barely even raining. It's flooding here. And not the plumbing, the ocean. You need to go home. The ocean is flooding. Is this an actual thing? I haven't seen this, but I've, I've been wanting to. Really? Just can't sit back and watch this. That was a screaming goat sound effect. That's, that's the first thing I would do is like go to Home Depot and get my axe. Tornado's heading towards the airport. We need to destroy it before it gets to them. Why'd you have to destroy it before it gets to the airport? Watch out! <laughs> can't just wait here and wait for <laughs> down on the Yeah, Tara! Oh, yes! He just cut it in half. Oh, oh, what a dummy! Too many of them. We're gonna need a bigger chopper. Bloody a boo! Why was he diving into the shark's mouth is what I want to know. Blaze of glory. Oh my god. Yes! Shark data, oh yes. My I'm so happy this exists. Ah! <laughs> I want to see that so badly. Read it in for no one should watch. <laughs> <laughs> Read it in for never. <laughs> are they flying or are they in a tornado or are they a tornado? Do you really have to know the details? So what was that the trailer for? That was the trailer for Sharknado. That was Sharknado. Sharknado? A movie called Sharknado. It's one of those, you know, B movies. I, I feel guess. like I need to just high five someone right now. Yeah, I know. It's just. Why do you know about this? Just because it went insane on the internet. On Twitter, I saw a hashtag that said Sharknado. I know about it because it's the last thing Corey Monteith tweeted about. That's a weird thing for me to think of. I just interviewed Tara Reid on my podcast, and she was very excited about it. And I, so was I. I was visiting a, a summer camp that I used to work at, and all the counselors after the kids went to bed were like, hey man. Come on, come out to the cabin. We're watching Sharknado tonight. Does it seem like a good movie? Uh, it was hard to find good movie. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be the Shawshank Redemption. Yes. What? <laughs> it's one of those. It's so bad, it's good. No. Maybe like a movie that you get like a bunch of friends, and you're like, let's make fun of that. This isn't a real movie, is it? It is. It is a real movie. Yeah. No. Yes. But. Those were like actual actors in that. Why would they do that? Why do you think it trended on Twitter and everyone was talking about this so much on social media? I don't know, there are just some things that are so bad that they're amusing and easy to get behind and sort of have fun and make fun of at the same time. I think everyone that watched it as well had like a communal experience on Twitter when it was on, because I was I was even reading what people were saying about it. Because it's the best portmanteau ever. Just people can't resist typing the word, speaking the word, remembering the word Sharknado. The term Sharknado just sounds funny. Um, and everybody's like, oh God, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Uh, let's just make it a hashtag. People love horrible things. Like, it, American Idol, the first three episodes get the most views because we love the horrible auditions. We love the horrible Sharknado movie. Do you think the filmmakers thought they were making a horror thriller or they knew what they were doing here? Now, see, it's a tough question because if I say, obviously, this was made to be made fun of, and those guys are sitting here watching this video like, I really worked hard on that script. You know what, I'm gonna go with no. I'm gonna go with no. They didn't know what they were doing. I think they're like, lots of people are afraid of sharks and tornadoes. What if we combine them together to create this ultimate phobia? Oh, they knew exactly they knew what, they, what they were doing. You can't call something Sharknado without it being deliberately campy, you know what I mean? I think this is the climax of some ridiculous films. Like, I've seen Sharktopus, um, Mega Shark, and they just needed a new shark movie that's gonna be all of them. And I think a tornado full of sharks, kind of, you, you can't beat that. That's a level that can't be beaten now. And if you heard a news report saying that a real Sharknado was heading your way, what would you do? God, it's so bad that the first thing I thought was film it. Did I go to Walmart with my friends? I, we'd probably be laughing the whole time, like, okay, I got the chainsaw, guys. All right, like, I got the shoddy, let's go. If I was on the, the weather report and heard sharks were being flung into land, I would just go inside. I mean, go indoors? Go indoors. Shark can land on your house, you're not safe. Not go outside. Never go outside. Obviously, I would get a chainsaw. <laughs> seems to work. The opposite of everyone in that trailer, which is apparently a go outside with chainsaws. I now have a selection of clips from Sharknado to show you. I'm good. Oh my goodness. No. It's gonna ruin the story. Yes! Let's do this. Shark! That was really bad CG, guys. Like, they used that. <laughs> A single shotgun stopped a hurling shark. Ah, Watch out! Oh, 
no, it's people getting eaten by sharks. There's like no shading on that shark. Looks like it's that time of the month. They just bite through a ceiling. What amazing violence. Can we like postpone this episode? I gotta watch this like right now. Instead of letting live sharks rain down on people, we're gonna get in that chopper and throw bombs into the tornadoes. They took my grandfather. <laughs> That's why I really hate sharks. <laughs> no, that was really badly acted. Strongest handgun ever. <laughs> oh my god, it's still going. Oh my. A hammerhead. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on. Why is that happening? Amazing. He's gonna come out, right? No. Yep, there it is. He's alive. He's alive. No. Don't kiss it. No, that's infected with something. So that's how I get Tara Reed to kiss me. Cover my face in blood. Thank you. Bye, you're my best friends. With all the success that Sharknado has had, what does that say about the power of social media? Well, I mean, it's good. I mean, this will happen like via Twitter and Reddit and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's inspiring. Social media can get people to watch things. You can have zero advertising and it's just, you know, create, create a buzz. I think social media can make things really popular and the sad part is it's usually bad things. People with social media like stupid things and it's kind of sad that something so stupid can get so much attention. The internet, I think, is the multiplier. Like something can exist and had Twitter not been there, had Facebook not been there, it would have just been like this kind of shitty thing that you talked about for a day, and then it would have just disappeared. The word of mouth is always the, the best publicity, so I guess Twitter being the digital version of word of mouth, I guess explains Yeah, I think every that. advertiser would tell you, people telling other people that your product is good is the best way to prove that your product is good. Do you think this type of hype and excitement for Sharknado could happen if it was like a YouTube movie versus a TV movie? Easily, mm -hmm. easily. If it's as bad as it's portraying itself to be, I think it could work on YouTube. It'd probably blow up faster, if anything. You could click a link and go straight to it, or you could see a GIF and then click straight to it. I think it would just make it so it could blow up faster. The thing about the made-for-TV movie is, I feel like that does drive Twitter to a degree that it's only on TV for two hours. YouTube's not really a live thing, so I think everyone's like live tweeting Sharknado. When it's on YouTube, you see weird things all the time and you accept that more, and I, I think it would have been harder to go from there to there versus that to going to YouTube. I think people are so used to TV being so like real and YouTube being kind of like the joke. So seeing something that should probably be on YouTube on TV, I think just made people go crazy. They treat traditional things in a, in a different way, you know what I mean? I think if it wasn't being seen as a traditional TV movie, like a proper feature film, then it wouldn't have had the same appeal as if it was a, a web thing. I still think that people see web things as more amateur. Sad face. They've announced they're making a sequel to Sharknado. They're calling it the second one. What would you have called it? Zebra... Explosion. That's the twist. There's also zebras. Or zebras, as you guys say. Sharknado 2. Too shark, too curious. Sharknado 2. The shark apocalypse. Sharknado 2. Octoquake. Sharknado 2. A tornado full of sharks. The logistics of how to clean up the city after sharks are everywhere. Sharknado 2, the cleanup. Yeah. Logically. That's a terrible name for a film. Thanks for watching YouTubers React. If you want to see reactions that didn't make it into the final episode, then you can click on the annotations below. Leave the Fine Brothers some comments as to what videos you'd like us to watch next. Help support the show by subscribing to the channels below. May the odds be ever in your favor. Goodbye. We'll see you guys next time, unless there's like a real Sharknado going on right now, because I got to go to Walmart and stock up on supplies. Don't steal my idea.